All right, we have for another set of uh, FFT Arena matches. This is a version 1.35B. And on top, we have um, CT5 Holy's team, Do Not Disturb. And on bottom, uh, Vigilante's team, Get On Status. CT5 Holy has Harp the Bard, Boring the Monk, Copy the Mime, and Paste the Thief. And um, Vigilante, he has Va Valerie the Paladin, Marcella the Oracle, Thorn the Thief, and Ma Dukes the Chemist. So what we got here, uh, Bloodsucking Bard. Yep, with MA save and unyielding. I'm guessing making sure that uh, the more you hit him, the more his blood streams are going to hurt. Um, damage Split and Monk with uh, Quickening. Mime to mimic everything and a thief. Basically, CT5 Holy's team is designed to build speed because this bard has cheer song. So this is a this, so this is basically a speed building kind of a team. And for vigilante, basically relies on status, particularly charm and zombie procs. Um, to print, yeah, just charms and zombie procs is all he relies on. Zombie procs for the petrify and the raise two hits. Hitting through Undead, and uh, Charms just to turn the tide. Now, for a first round match, we are going to be going to map 35, Zalen Fort City. I think we've been to this map before, but eh, it doesn't matter. It's still a decent map. Vigilante in the uh, brown, and CT5 Holy in the white. And this is where the speed building is going to begin. So the mime already got two points in speed. Here's a haste. And absorb MP. Alright. Paralyzed is coming up. Maybe asleep. We're not sure yet. Here comes the paralyze. Hits the mine. Thorn to go forward. There's a Clem Hazard proc. Alright, so Pace is gonna go for a bandage. To get rid of the don't act, which is actually a smart idea. Warren's gonna go forward. Burn AT damage is gonna trigger PA save. Accidental uh, trigger from the mine. But it does trigger MA save on the Bard, and mimics Cheer Song, so CT5 Holy is still trying to build, uh, speed. Marcel is gonna go for a QR3. Valerie still not doing much. Haste. And a damage split. Good thing that the first shot hits, because if damage split were to occur after the Clam Hazard proc, like, damage splits actually splits the Clam Hazard proc damage, that would have been a bad news for Vigilante. But right now, um, his team is holding up fairly well. And he KOs Born the Monk, who, who proceeds to chakra himself and runs off. Mine does the same thing. 190 damage, more PA save. Meaning that Thief is going to hit a lot harder, and that Clint Hazard is going to even be more powerful. Charm fails. That would have been good for uh, Vigilante. Paralyzed under the Monk, which is actually very good. Status effects from the Oracle is keeping up. Uh... Oh, nice. Nice, ta nice offensive tandem by uh, by CT5 Holy. Kind of play and don't accidentally don't ask his own thief. That's that's a bit of a bad omen right now. That's got to allow Vigilante to capitalize and um, raise his damage deal, me and that thief. MA save on the Bard might not be the best idea. Charm, good idea, but it misses. Here's a raise two on Thorn, on Thorn who immediately gets a turn. And don't act proc on uh, Thorn for his trouble from the counter flood. 229 damage, blood suck. Ouch. So it looks like that it's kind of even right now, I have to say.
Let's see what the Oracle's gonna go for. Maybe a cure three. And Val nurses herself. Oh, almost died. So it looks like there's it's kind of a bit of a stalemate right now between these two teams. Vigilante just needs to just control the tempo of status right now. Because right now, uh, CT5 Holy is doing a good job. Um, just surviving, really. And I'm going to KO the Paladin again. See, Marcel is going to hang back. going to go for another race, too. Fate's going to wear off. As well as on actually the wear off. The valley gets picked up. Mine goes on the attack again. Arp to go for. Yeah, right now Vigilante is in a bit of a res loop right now. Auto potion. Bit of a backfire, but nothing major, I don't think. That thief just needs to land in some KO shots. I may save on the Bard, that's because he's at full health, that was a good thing for him too. See, Coffee's gonna go for a KO shot on the, uh, on the Paladin again. Ace is gonna go for it and going to High Potion the Bard, good idea. Race 2 connects. That Bard's almost dead. Vigilante just really needs to quicken the pace here. He just needs to actually get some kills in. Bard's got a high potion himself instead of going on the attack. See, Coffee's gonna go for another shot. He's gonna bypass Abandon. Ace is gonna go 99 damage, blood suck. Marcella is going to go for a 66% don't act. Finally, the bar goes down. See so what Born is going to go for. 267 damage. Punch. Hits right through Abandon, which is actually pretty good. They kind of have each other on the defense right now, which is actually very interesting. Vigilante just needs to land some more status procs, like a charm. Charm can definitely be the tie turner that he could, he could use right now. No uh, petrify proc. The thief smartly runs away. Repeating fist. Good job by passing abandon. So I don't know. Um, it's still even right now, I have to say. They just can't really put each other away from the looks of it right now. You can Val land a charm? 70% charm and it misses. Damn, that's best compat too. That's that's just unfortunate. If that charm were to land, then C25 Holy would have been in a little bit of trouble. Let's see, Born's gonna go for 267, 267 damage punch. Hits through Abandon, which is a bit of a surprise. See, Marcel's gonna go for 73% down act. Well, hit. Yes, it does hit. Mime immediately gets a turn and KOs that Paladin. Oh, uh, there's Valerie. Bandage, okay. Clem Hazard Pro takes out the Bard. And instead of the monk going for the KO shot, he decides to build speed instead. Nurse, okay. And she's going to uh, say put. Almost died. Case of Thief is going to Phoenix down the Bard. Marcella is going to go for a. Not sure what she's going for, actually. Thorn? It's gonna be anti sandbag, regains HP all the while. Ma Duke's gonna go for a high potion. Cure 3. 
So she stays healed up. Pace the Thief is still stuck sandbagging. See what Born's gonna go for. Uh, nothing. Harp's gonna high potion himself. I don't know. If CT5 Holy can just build up enough speed, then Vigilante is gonna eventually lose. No catch by Brock, thankfully. See what pace we go for. More sandbagging, actually, on both of these teams' parts. Paralyzed on the Monk once again. The key for Vigilante to win this is Charm. The key for CT5 Holy to win this is Building Speed. Or that Thief just gathering power. So let's see what Harp's gonna go for. Nothing. He's out of range right now. And Marcella's gonna go for another Paralyze. 66%. And it misses. Haste misses as well. Vigilante is getting some bad luck. Still bad luck with the charm missing. 99 damage. Hit, hit, you abandon. Pretty much because he doesn't have a mantle. That paladin. That thief still buying himself some time. Blood Harp hits through Abandon one more time. That Paladin's not been able to make good, good use of Abandon whatsoever. And again, the speed building continues. Copy's gonna get right in the way of the Protect. Okay. Can Thorn of Thief do anything good here? We'll find out. Uh, he tried, but uh, that bar was at full health, so it wasn't able to be effective otherwise. A more PA save. And down he goes. So it looks like the CT5 Holy is at an advantage right now. Unless, of course, something amazing happens. Bag smack, not the best of choices. If that paladin can just land a charm, then Vigilante should have a chance. Finally, she uses Abandon to block. Down goes the Oracle, but she does have re-raise. Uh, Val's not going for Charm instead of going for Nurse. Okay, that's where, that's, that's where Abandon's useful. When she's in Defending Stance. That's where it's very useful. Mon Dukes is going to resurrect uh, Thorn the Thief. I don't think he'll be able to get a turn in, though. Nope. Uh... So Vigilante is kind of stuck at a 4 on 2 disadvantage right now. He has not been able to land a charm proc at all. Between Fist bypassing uh, all evasion. Yeah, eventually. Eventually, CT5 Holy is just going to outspeed uh, the rest of Vigilante's squad. Hundred and forty-eight damage. And more speed building. So, CT5 Holy will for sure take round one. Yep, it's just a matter of time now.
Yeah, not the smartest idea. But at this point, Vigilante's run out. Vigilante's team pretty much just ran out of ideas. Because now um, the rest of his team is going to take over. Vigilante's chances of actually winning this one might have been lost now because Charm not hidden clinched it for 65 Holy in my opinion. That Charm could have turned um, the speed building team he had right against him. But unfortunately, it just was not to be. And I think as a result, uh... Yeah, C C25 Holy will be taking round one. Yep, so, C so CT5 Holy wins, I'll see you for round two. Round two between CT5 Holy and Vigilante, we will be going to map 29. Carly Underground, second floor. So, uh, yep, here I know the Palettes, here I know who the team's about. Uh, round one, Vigilante had second, um... Uh, Vigilante had poor luck, actually, in round one, to be honest. He has not been able to land a single charm proc at all. And I think that might have been his only chance to really combat against TT5 Holy's team. We'll find out if, um, if Vigilante can turn his luck around. Alright, so everyone's starting to move forward. Thorn's gonna go forward. Damage split. Alright. Copy's gonna move forward. PA save. Pace is gonna move forward. Let's see, my dudes are gonna go for a haste on the paladin. Let's see. Connects. Repeating fist. Couldn't get couldn't get in the way of uh was able to get in the way of the cure 3 attempts. See if that was gonna go for Charm. Charm misses. Yay save. Do defense up, and that thief's gonna run away. Harp is gonna go forward, not too much. Coffee is gonna go forward. 106 damage. Haste. It's gonna go for quickening. Yeah, Vigilante just needs to hit a charm. If he can hit a charm, then they can buy his team some time. I just don't see that happening right now. Jim is gonna go for looks like a paralyze, I think. Thorn's gonna move forward once again. Oh, almost killed him, but PA save kicks in. Paralyze hits the monk. Val, can she land a charm? No, she misses twice. Wow, Vigilante. Your team just has bad luck right now. See, Mod Dukes is trying to um, haste uh, Thorn, and it is, it is successful. Interesting how Vigilante's group is kind of split up. Good idea on his part to go after the Don't Acting Monk. Let's see, Marcel's going to go for a cure 3. Nurse, and she's going to move back. Probably the smart idea that she can do. Alright, so Valk is cured up. Warren's going to move back. Because he's don't active right now. Mod Dukes is just hanging around right now. Thorn. They okay, no KO shot. PA save. So I don't know. Is is Vigilante really gonna be able to turn his luck around? It doesn't seem like that right now. Blood Harp takes out Thief again. Marcel is going to raise him. 
preferably now. Okay, she landed a charm. Yeah, she does hand it, hit the charm. Could this be the break that Vigilante needs? No kind of flood. PA save once again. And a haste from my dukes, which hits. Pace is all the way at the bottom half of the map. I don't know, we'll see what Born's gonna go for. Oh, Sigma Magic, get rid of the charm. Damn. But it did force him to waste a turn. Damn, split. The Harp's gonna go for. No Mimic uh, Blood Harp. See what Val's gonna go for. Another charm? Charm hits again. This might buy um, Vigilante some time. I'm not sure yet. Bag smack, not the best of choices. Cure 3 hits just in the nick of time. Right before the mime gets a turn. PA save once again. What Charm is doing is forcing, uh... Is forcing CT5 Holy to waste turns. That's what Charm is doing. I just don't know how much longer um, Vigilante can hold up in this, though. That's just the only worry. Val's nursing herself. Marcel's gonna go for another race, too. Unfortunately, the CT may have already passed by. Race 2. It's Coffee is gonna go for a smack. Warren's gonna go for 218 damage misses. Partially backfired. I don't know. High potion, double high potion on the monk, making sure that he stays alive. Crit. Again, partially backfire. Damage split. Okay. Just enough HP to take out that uh, paladin. Who immediately gets rezzed and gets a turn. Nurse herself, so Vigilante trying to stay alive as best as he possibly can here. Good idea to protect. So once again, we're at a bit of a stalemate. The Peen Fist takes out the Paladin again, probably because of the best we had. See Thorn? No, uh, Clint hasn't brought this time. Ten I damage, PA save. Warren's gonna go for... Oh my god, wow, that thief is taking a pounding right now. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. That mine was in the right place at the right time to do a Mimic Blood Harp. So you damage, raise two onto the thief, which is actually a smart idea, and a punch misses. They're beaten down at Oracle, to the point that she goes down too. PA save once again. The Thief's damage output is getting higher. As long as, as, long as Vigilante can just keep that Thief alive. That missed because of Abandon. Block. I don't know. It ultimately depends, really. Vigilante just needs to... To simply stay alive, honestly. Maybe Vigilante needs to charm that mine. Or, um, that bard. Definitely one of the two. Finally, a Clem Hazard proc hits. Could this be the break that Vigilante needs? I don't know. Uh, he is getting out of speed right now. See, quickening once again. Marcel's gonna go for a QR3. Will she be able to get it off in time? That's the question.
No, she won't. That mime's gonna take her, take her out. Charm misses the mime, damn. I know, Vigilante, if he can just, if that thief can just simply stay alive and hit more KO shots, then I don't know, he could have a chance. I don't want to bank on it just yet, though. Because ET5 Holy is uh, making Vigilante's chances slim to none of winning. Yeah, because he's already at a 4 on 2, uh, 4 on 3, I should say, disadvantage. Double auto potion. Very nice. Oh, crit and a PA save. Damn. Well, Vigilante is in a world of trouble right now. I don't think, uh... I don't know if his team's got what it takes to come back from this. Most likely he doesn't. Just too much damage from CT5 Poli is just being done right now. That thief is not even going on in the offense whatsoever. That chemist is about to go down, too. She high potions herself, then runs off. But at this point, I don't know. Oh, counter flood. And he's in critical, too. So, yeah, uh, CT5 Holy wins again. Just. Uh, Vigilante did land a couple of charms, but unfortunately, um, the charms just weren't enough. They just weren't enough to turn this whole match around. And I think as a result, uh, C5 Poli is going to take this one without question. And that's it. CT5 Holy wins. GG.